Hi guys, it is just a dark, gray, gloomy, drizzly, yuck, depressing, slit your wrist kind of day here in the end times in Garfield, Texas, here on this gloomy, depressing Thursday, <coughs> November 6, 2019, I believe. So, uh, since it is Thursday, I'm going to do what I do every Thursday, and that's bring you this week's depressed collapsitarian whine. Of course, uh, someone mentioned yesterday, it's like, like Hambo, and ever since you got back to Texas, every day has become a depressed collapsitarian whine. And, uh, yep, <clears throat> can't imagine the connection between coming back to this fucking shithole of a state and having every day a depressed collapsitarian whine. So anyway, what you hear in the background are, is the giant chipper shredding up all of uh, this, you know, this planet-eating uh, tree branches from the power lines. I think, uh, I think the sound of the chipper is a perfect metaphor for uh, for my life here. So anyway, guys, uh, good Lord, what, what's going on in my life right now here on, uh, on November 6th? Well, of course, <clears throat> you know, we do have an ongoing collapse of a planet. We, you know, uh, the I'm sure the Amazon is still burning uh, the ice caps are melting, the sixth mass extinction is in full swing. Everywhere we look on the planet, we are completely, totally fucked. Uh, you, you know, as a backdrop to all of this, uh, and, and you know what, guys, I'm going to be perfectly honest. Do you know how much of, of my personal headspace when I'm not sitting here on uh, YouTube that I'm actually thinking about the collapse of the fucking planet. No, I, 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 I hate to shatter this myth, but of course, <coughs> more in my mind is the, the ungodly amount of work I have to do around here, <coughs> around this goddamn place to get this shithole up for sale before the goddamn cottonwood tree falls on the house. Uh, I, I have enough work uh, around here to keep it, you know, to keep a team of Home Depot Mexicans busy for six months. Instead, uh, this is your 60-year-old white man uh, out here giving himself a goddamn hernia. I need to be going down there to Mexico to get some fucking hernia surgery. I've got my guts falling out of my body. I got my fucking teeth rotting out of my head. And, uh, and here, here I sit uh, as just everything fucking falls apart from my very own intestinal tract to that goddamn cottonwood tree uh, so you think maybe between the collapse of a planet, the, the absolute hopeless situation uh, that we're under, uh, the the workload, the the completely just insurmountable workload I have to do, and the fact that my own fucking body is going to hell in a handbasket would be enough to uh, to to fill up one doomer uh, eco Nazi depressed collapsitarian's brain. But no, do you want to know what? At least fifty percent, and, and and if I was honest, eighty percent of of what uh, of what is just hammering my brain and keeping me up at night uh, is, the, is this never-ending whine uh, about finding a goddamn doomer chick to complete my life. 
uh, with, with everything else that should be on my mind to think about, I, I, th 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 this whole, just this whole, uh, what is it? I don't even, I don't even know if there's a word for it. I'm 60 years old for God's sake. Uh, and, I, and I'm acting like a fucking 12 year old girl. Uh, now, So anyway, uh, uh, we're, uh, H Hambone is somehow gonna hit the fucking edit button for what I really want to be whining about, uh, and, and a few of you know exactly what, what is, what is really behind, uh, this doomer lonely heart whine, but, uh, so far, somehow, I'm managing to keep it tamped down. So anyway, I what I did was, you know, after my summer, uh, my latest summer of, uh, of of trying to manifest a a doomer, a Yankee doomer chick. Uh, since I since I've been down here for ten fucking years in Austin, Texas, trying to manifest a doomer chick. Now. I sort of did manifest a doer chick in Austin, Texas. Don't know if she's listening to this or not. This this thin, red-headed Scorpio doer chick. But uh, we had a little uh, a little uh, a, a little whisper from the universe. So I had to pass on you, darling. Uh, so anyway. Uh, ten fucking years. I'm I'm sitting around here in Austin, Texas, uh, waiting for my doomer chick uh, to arrive. And the one that the universe sent sent me, I just had to take a pass on. So I've been up there, you know, buying land in New York, uh, looking for my Yankee doomer chick, meeting a lot of very nice women who would make very good girlfriends, uh, but, you know, you can't force the universe. The, the universe is going to have its sick, twisted sense of humor. So the doomer chick that the universe sent me, did! Uh, anyway, uh, we're not going to talk about the, uh, the Doomer check the universe has sent me. Uh, we're going to, uh, come back to Austin, Texas. So I said, okay, Hambo, you're, you're, you're going to be, uh, around Austin, Texas for six more months. So, uh, you've got six more months to find, uh, the woman of your dreams on Pile of Fish. So, you know, I was playing Pile of Fish for how many months in Austin, Texas? I go on Pile of Fish in Austin. This is like 10 o'clock last night. <clears throat> I, go, I go on Pile of Fish just to uh, see who's out there <clears throat> in Austin. And... Uh, this is the first woman, when I went in there, the number one woman on the list that came up on Pile of Fish saying it would be the woman of my dreams. Her name is Punwita, P-U-N-W-I-T-A, <clears throat> Punwita, slender redhead seeks liberal quick wit. So Punwita is a 60-year-old non-smoker with a thin body. I will say she is. Uh, she is looking for a relationship, as is Hambone. She describes her personality as a tree hugger, and of course she is a Scorpio. So here is the uh, here is the universe dangling a slender, red-headed Scorpio from Austin, Texas, in front of me. 
and she has a master's degree. This woman has a master's degree. She has one picture of herself with her big old dog. Uh, she's sitting in a chair, looks like probably in her bedroom, with about a <clears throat> hundred pound Sancho Panza. And under her, under her uh, photo it says, Saving the Polar Bears. Okay, take it away, Panwita. Panwita is seeking a man. Well, that's good. She has a dog and a cat. <clears throat> and she wants a long-term relationship with a man. And she does not want children. Okay, hobbies. <laughs> her, her first hobby is pulling weeds. Pulling weeds. There you go. Pulling weeds, hiking, people watching, walking my dogs, plural, singing. So she's some sort of uh, singer, probably a musician. Browsing antique stores and estate sales. Watching documentaries foreign and independent films and discussing them. Okay, here are Punwita's goals and aspirations. Number one goal and aspiration to help people, animals, and the environment. Her number two goal in life is to make sure that Donald Trump and his ilk, the whole lot of them, get impeached and her number three goal in life is to deal with Austin traffic without resorting to ECT. I had to uh, go over there to uh, Google and put in definition of ECT, electroconvulsive therapy a medical treatment most commonly used in patients with severe major depression or bipolar disorder that has not responded to other treatments. ECT involves a brief electrical stimulation of the brain. Yeah, so, uh, so that is her number three goal is dealing with Austin traffic without resorting to ECT. What makes Punita unique? I am funny, intelligent, and have an offbeat view of the world. And she loves to banter back and forth and have in-depth conversations about most things under the sun when it is not being eclipsed. Ugh. So I sent a... <laughs> you, you can take a wild guess what I sent Punwita. Uh, I, I said, darling, uh, I, I said, where the fuck have you been the last 10 years while I've been sitting around here in Austin, Texas, waiting for you, I sent her uh, one of my videos of having a uh, of having an absolute meltdown in Austin traffic. I don't know if you guys saw that uh, that video of me driving to the Austin Library that day. So uh, I sent her the video of me having that absolute meltdown in my truck stuck in Austin traffic and uh, sent that to her at 10 o'clock last night. Needless to say, I have not, uh, I have not heard back from Panwita, but Guys, I, I, I don't know what to do, you, you know, I, I mean, I'm completely embarrassed by this. Uh, this uh, what is it? What the fuck is it at age 60? 
you know, this woman, this, this obviously uh, good-looking, intelligent, educated, funny, uh, aware woman uh, is out there, you know, advertising on pile of fish, hoping that that some man uh, is going to drop in uh, out of, out of the goddamn uh, universe uh, and 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 sweep her off her feet. Uh, this this whole it's 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 really fucked up and and, and I don't know what to do uh, with, with with this 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 hammering in my head uh, you know it's 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 obviously not the breeding urge I, I mean the woman's 60 years old she says she doesn't want any kids this has you, you know you guys who act like this is all about sex uh, I, I could make a very arrogant comment. Imagine Hambone Littletail making a, a narcissistic, arrogant comment about, uh, about having sex with Doomer Chicks, but I'm in enough trouble with Doomer Chicks and I don't need to make the comment. I will somehow keep the comment to myself. But anyway, uh... So I just, we're so fucked. We're just fucked. You know, the whole fucking planet going down the toilet and all I can think about is, 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 is some doomer chick and uh, that, that, that some woman is going to come into my life and, and fill some doomer chick sized hole in my humpty dumpty heart and uh, it is just going to make everything in my life just uh, magically wonderful that this little princess charming is going to show up and uh, when princess charming does show up Look, look at this shit, guys. Look, look at my fucking life. This is, this is my bedroom. This is what I... Well, got to take the uh, camera off. This is what I see when I... The, the first sight out of my... God, does the fucking camera... This is, this is what I see when, when I... The, fir, the first view out of my out of my eyes every day is uh <laughs> it, it, it is this carnage this, this is ham bones this this is ham bones world this is my eight foot by ten foot bedroom i've got my fucking clothes sitting on my bed at least i do have my soulmate there's obviously my soulmate this is this is my goddamn uh my goddamn life. I've got my uh, sleeping pills. I've got my uh, my ibuprofen for my aching back. Of course, we always have a bottle of uh, water. Look at my fucking life. You know, Hambone's life. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Oh, fuck. What a fucking life. There's the back porch. Here's what the back porch looks like. I, I've been home for, uh, I've been home for three days. This is, this is really manifesting a, a doomer chick. I, I'm sure Punwita would be really impressed. How many more leaves have fallen off the cottonwood tree? <laughs> oh well, I gotta get out there and ride her and on these chippers. All right, there, 
moving in. Go uh, check out the chippers. Bye, guys.